Hi, welcome back to where I rant about art things and pictures in front of me very quickly and terribly. So, uh, trying to figure out a pose for this character was kind of a pain. Not that she's very difficult. Her design's pretty simple and straightforward, but she's got like sashes and stuff. So I had to think a little bit and thinking is very hard. Thankfully, the person this is for agreed that I, because I was like, oh, it would be really cute if, to try and draw her in the style that I did all the panel to pawn characters in, which is just kind of like this kind of retro, simple, cutesy style. And I was like, she's even got the gold bracelets to go with it, you know. So this little statue that they sell kind of is really close to that style, actually. So I was like, oh, cool, I guess we'll just go with that. But, I don't know, some about it, I was like, eh, it's, her head's kind of big and her eyes are like, I, you know. That's, that's the style I'm going for, but there was just something. It was a little off, alright? I don't know, like, how you sit when you're sitting on the edge of your bed or something. But, like, I couldn't, like, this one was not it. The part of the idea was there, but it was in need of refined. So, yeah, I was like, oh, this one's much better, where she's just kind of looking off to the side. But I still, her hair was very detailed. And so, looking online at, like, older things of, like, how they might draw the hair, uh, I just got rid of the lines, made it a lot more simple, and realized also if she's facing that way, her, the, like, pointy part of her hair would be facing the other way because of how that works. So, her braid and her hair, while fun, also were kind of challenging because I wanted her braid to go one way, but then, like, also flow back into the rest of her hair because I wanted the braid and the bangles to be visible but it just wasn't working. Also animals are very tough. I'm trying to like add enough detail so you know that it's like, like a bulldog uh, <laughs> but at the same time keep it simple so that it actually looks like it suits her and the art style that we're going with. We got there kind of eventually. He's, he's pretty cute like I don't yeah. <laughs> animals are tough. Uh, so I had her on the moon here because I was like, oh, that'd be really cute. But then I wanted the moon to be inside the box, which would mean it would be smaller. And then that means she would be smaller and I wanted her out of the box. And I was like, okay, well, I won't, I won't waste the moon. Then she could just be leaning on like a planet or something, or maybe even just, I think it was going to be her solo, but I was like, I don't want to draw her shorts and her crop top. And then my recording messed up because I got distracted and I didn't hit record, and so you missed me drawing on the little planets there. Uh, so the, for the color scheme, I was looking at old Lisa Frank stuff because I was like, oh, I love those colors and that would suit this really well, I feel like. And so I really like them. And the, the little hearts also, I was like, this is the perfect amount of detail and also kind of fits this whole like simplest look and the like Lisa Frank kind of thing going on, like they would throw hearts and stars everywhere because that's just what they did. And so I really like that. Uh, trying to, <laughs> I don't know, trying to like make sure that her head and her hair is all working right without flipping the photo back and forth so many times. And then trying to make it, I don't know, planets and stars, like trying to make sure that they're not lining up or like, I don't know, look like they're following any certain pattern because, I don't know, that's that's just what I try to do. Anyways, uh, so trying to make the dog trying to like, he's kind of opaque, but when the, the background is purple and he's blue and the reference image for him I'm looking at, he's blue in that, but yeah, I think it works. I think the purple shines through enough. All right. Thanks for watching.